Hello and welcome to Capacity Middle East Extra, powered by JSA. I am Dean Perrine of JSA and we are coming to you live, that's right, Vineet, we are live right now at the Grand Hyatt Dubai at Capacity Middle East and I am here with my new friend and fellow panelist, Mr. Vineet Meta. Vineet is the region head for, of the Middle East, Central Asia and Africa for Tata Communications, Vineet. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me here. Of course, of course. So, Vinit, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Tata Communications? All right. So, I've been uh, an industry veteran, I should say, even though my hair don't speak that language. <laughs> but yes, I've been uh, At around. Least you for, have hair. <laughs> I have hair. Yeah, that's that's the plus on me. So, uh, I've been around for 27 years in the telecom industry, and with Tata Communications for about 15 years now. And uh, I was the first employee of the Middle Eastern region based in Dubai. And uh, Tata Communications uh, historically has been uh, uh, an internet and a submarine cable provider. Mm -hmm. And proudly part of the Tata group, which has the salt to software uh, conglomerate. And 67% of the group revenues go back to the society. So very yeah. heavy on philanthropy and the code of conduct, how we do business uh, everywhere in the world. And uh, Tata Communications proudly uh, carries 30% of the world's internet. So uh, that's one uh, uh, legacy and, you know, the pride which we take as an Indian company. Yeah. And uh, we, though we are an Indian company, but about 67% of our revenues come from outside of India. So we have uh, a strong presence in Europe, in Americas, in uh, Middle East and Asia Pacific. Obviously, India is a home market where mm -hmm. we have a dominant share of about 35% mm -hmm. in the enterprise space. And we are mainly a B2B provider. So we don't do consumer, we don't do mobile. So it's a it's a pure play enterprise offering in the cybersecurity space. Very recently in the uh, IoT, smart cities as well, we've got very decent success mm -hmm. and uh, in Saudi Arabia. And also talking about the next-gen services, SDN is coming up, SD-WAN is already being there. Yeah, yeah. And we, uh, are, we, we, we don't tend to act like a reseller of the OEMs. We are a managed services provider. Mm -hmm. So it's an OEM agnostic kind of an offering which we have. And also our forte is that, you know, we, 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 we want to be seen as somebody who solves the problems for an enterprise, right? Yeah. Uh, rather than just going and saying, this is my point product. You know, you buy it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll discount it by 55% like <laughs> anyone else would do. So, th so that's pretty much uh, what our uh, uh, DNA is. Mm -hmm. This is what we've been taught. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's how we've been excelling in the region. And we've been growing at a very decent pace. Yeah. Uh, overall, as a company, as a group as well, uh, we've almost tripled our uh, uh, market cap over uh, ever, ever since the, 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 the new chairman also joined in. So it's, it's, it's been a good journey. I mean, I would say uh, well, enjoyed every day of it. Yeah, yeah no, that, that, that's amazing. And, uh, and other people are taking note, too. I understand that you are uh, part of the uh, Gartner Magic Quadrant. We are part of the Gartner Magic Quadrant, not for once, but I think uh, multiple years now. It's almost a decade now. Yeah. And that's one, uh, again, a moment of pride, you know, which, which means that the industry and the analyst appreciate and understand the strength of yeah. our network, right? So uh, ca calling it out and even on, uh, this is the network one. And even on one of the uh, Nelson Hall, uh, we are uh, a leader in the quadrant in the cybersecurity space which is a recent one, very recent, uh, in addition to what uh, Gartner has given us over a period, uh, over 10 years. And that, that's basically because, you know, uh, the strength of our network. It's So f right from layer one to layer seven is all owned by us. Mm -hmm. I don't rely on a third party to inject something in between. And th this is one of the reasons I'm able to offer a single SLA. I'm able to offer a good quality of service. I own it end to end. Ownership yeah. is important, you know, a single throat to choke. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's, so that's where the strength of our uh, offering lies. It, it, yeah. It's a term we don't often, uh, or that we use sometimes, you know, uh, in, in the office, but it is a single throat to choke. It's, I mean, but let's talk a little bit. What does, that, what does that ultimately mean for the customer? Because in my opinion, or in probably your opinion as well, what it means is that you value cu the customer experience. We, we value customer experience to, I would say, infinity, I would say, you yeah. know, because that's the, and that's the core and the reason of our existence. If I deviate even uh, an iota out of that, 
vision of not serving or not giving a customer experience or not solving a customer pain point, I wouldn't exist, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, customer experience or CX as they normally call it is at the core of our uh, uh, every offering which we have. You, know, you name it. I mean, I could be selling a network service, but again, customer experience is important. How, how fast the customer will get that service? What will it mean for him? Uh, there should not be any jitter. There should not be any, the least latency. So there are so many parameters which we, you know, and there's an army sitting behind in India who mm -hmm. keeps doing this to improve it uh, every time. Even in our Ethernet core network, which we have uh, globally, our continuous endeavor, the customer will not even feel it, uh, is to how do we keep reducing the latency? Buy new routes, a new uh, cable has come in. Why don't mm -hmm. we put our organic traffic on it? Mm -hmm. There are so many creative things we do. And, and the heart of it is how do we improve the customer experience? The customer will stay with us only when we are sh giving him value. Yeah. You know, and there's, there's, no, there's no magic uh, yeah. uh, sauce or magic secret. In that, that's... Yeah. Otherwise, it's a me too service, right? Yeah. Um, especially connectivity, I would say. Yeah. Uh, so the differentiation comes with CX. The differentiation comes with how well you serve the customer, how well you treat him, and how, how fast you solve his problems. And, and some of those problems could be things like security. So let's talk a little bit about security and how Tata is kind of solving the uh, uh, security issues of kind of the present day world. Because the world has changed, you know, like it or not, uh, pretty dramatically over the last five the years. The world has changed and the world is changing by the hour. I yeah. used to say by the week or by the month, it's changing by the hour and how fast you adapt to it. So coming to the security question, I think it's very valid, very valid and very relevant for uh, this industry, this uh, region as well, and otherwise also for the enterprises. Everyone is tending to, uh, the internet is fit for use, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to move to the cloud, right? That is where the first threat is there for any enterprise to yep. be, right? So f from that standpoint, what? How am I solving that problem? I'm not saying I'm a bulletproof. I'm offering you a bulletproof service. Every enterprise, every person is uh, vulnerable to get attacked any at any point in right, time. Right. It is basically how fast you respond, how well you first protect. Mm -hmm. And if you are attacked, how fast you respond and mitigate that attack is, is important. right? And then comes the local regulations of any country. For example, here you have data sovereignty. Uh, guidelines. Right. You can't move the logs outside. Mm -hmm. So we have a local SOC in, in this region. We have a SOC here in UAE. We have a SOC in uh, Saudi Arabia. We are putting up a security operations center in Kuwait as well. So this is basically uh, align and uh, you know comply with the local laws and then offer a service which again the customer is comfortable with. And uh, you know knock on wood, uh, most of our customers have been in, in a decent, uh, I, I shouldn't say it otherwise, but in a, in a decent protected frame of, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. mine ever, ever since they've been uh, taking services from us. Well, outstanding. Vineet, that's our time. Uh, however, you and I are going to continue this conversation yes. in, uh, in some capacity or another uh, during our panel in just like, you know, an hour or two or whenever it is. Um, thank but, you so uh, much. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, you for your time. You bet. And thank yeah. you, viewers, for watching. We'll see you soon.